Health and Wealth Solutions International, creators of the more than 101 Creative Ways to Save Money book and the Kitchen Table Conversation Placemat, present Stretch Talk, all about the art of family communication, with your host, Cheryl Bassett. My first impression was, oh my word, what a fabulous common sense approach to finances. A fabulous tool to really start building values back into the family. Hi, I'm Cheryl Bassett, author of 101 Creative Ways to Save Money, as well as a wipe and erase kitchen table placemat agenda that families can use to start creating creative conversations around the dinner table. I'm also the co-founder of HWS International. And what I wanted to do was just take a moment of your time today to talk to you about something extremely important in our country. Right now, there is an opportunity or a crisis, depending on how we choose to respond to it. As families, we all need to pull together during this difficult time. We keep hearing from Wall Street to Main Street to the kitchen table. And the question becomes, now that we're at the kitchen table, what do we do? We've put together a program that's so simplistic. In a time where communication has gone faster and farther than ever before, we've put together something that's really about the core of that communication, which starts at our own table. So what we wanted to do today was share with you something that I think can help you and your family get back around the kitchen table and start making the changes that are going to move you forward during these challenging times. Also coming up in Stretch Talk, we challenge you to stretch your knowledge with attorney Rebecca Weiss and Father Joshua Wagner shows us why family communication is so essential to our future, our happiness, and our success. First, let's join Cheryl as she gets a group of newbies started on their kitchen table conversation. I'm here with the Stokes family, very excited to, to meet them for the first time actually, and actually to share with them what we're doing um, around the, the book and the placemat. And as a matter of fact, the Faribault family is just sitting down for their weekly meeting, observing rule number one, turn off all electronics. Simply so, the focus will be on face-to-face -face communication for the next half hour or so. And as Cheryl mentioned earlier, Ashton, the youngest member of the Faribault family, is actually conducting this week's meeting. Anything if you set your mind to it. In our next show, we'll talk to Ashton and other members of her family to discover how she likes the program and if she thinks it's making a difference. Here's a man who makes a difference in the lives of many people, Father Josh Wagner. Finances, there's always something that we have to talk about. It's something we talk to our people getting married who are preparing for marriage. Because finances are... Well, you know, body, mind, and soul normally we talk about. But when she put body, mind, and finances together, I thought, oh, a light bulb went off. It's like, this is really true. Because if you don't have your finances in order, your spirit is deadened, it really is. And although the, their workbook was geared toward um, families and personal, I actually have used it in my business. I own a real estate company. And I've actually used some of the concepts that Cheryl has in my business. And it's a great way to actually be able to bring the family back together around the kitchen table to have powerful conversations. And I don't see many programs out there like that right now. And it's so critical for us to actually build up the family and make that an integral part of our lives and of the fabric of the United States. Hey, we're ready for today's top 10 list. And these are going to be the top 10 things that you can talk about with your family around the kitchen table. Portion size. What really is an appropriate portion size that you should have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? What have you read lately that has inspired you that you should be sharing with your family? What are SMART goals and why are they SMART? What new thing have you always wanted to try, but you just haven't taken that? Because this is a time that will either bring us together or tear us apart. We hope that Stretch Talk brings your family back together around the kitchen table.